Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Channel Legends video. Guys, today we're going to be jumping onto Draco's account. I've literally not looked at anything yet. He messaged me a few days ago and he's like, Hell Hades, I've got a problem. I have been playing this game for a long time, but I've only recently really got into it and I'm struggling to do anything. So only hitting easy or normal clan boss, uh, doing like, you know, around 7 million damage. If I could get some advice, that would be great. Just just really want to know what to do next. Basically a free-to-play player. And yeah, as he says, he's been playing for a long time. So this is an interesting one. Level 51 here. I guess what we're going to do, we're just going to jump around the account a bit, see what's going on, and see if we can find some like quick tips. And maybe, uh, maybe I'll try and just change something up in Clan Boss and, and try and help him out a bit on that side as well. So... You can see here, we've not got like loads of resources. We've got 3 million silver, so that's not going to get as much like work done. We're not going to be able to do like full rebuilds or anything like that. So it's going to be a case of just some finesse to see if we can't get him kicking on a little bit further than he is. Plenty of shards in the bank. I mean, that's probably because he's been playing so long. Uh, but let's have a look. So daily login rewards. He's got Visic. So we're talking about someone who's played well over 270 days. Possibly a fair chunk longer than that. So, yeah, he's right. He's played for a long time. And, I mean, to still be hitting easy or normal clan boss is mind-blowing to me. <laughs> it's mind-blowing. I don't think I've seen anyone play for that long and still be on that level of clan boss. Like, clan boss is the number one thing to push on with. So, uh, I guess we're going to find some crazy stuff going on. i been playing for a while. He's in gold one arena. He's got a pretty dodgy win rate. Okay. And it's not really moved anything on here. Like in, in terms of Great Hall, this is just all stats for your whole game. So to not be pumping any arena fights, you know, do I know he says he, he wasn't playing that much for a while. So it's understandable that this has not moved on because if you're not active, you won't grow your Great Hall. Simple as that. It's as simple as that. And also if his builds are not good, it's very hard to grow your Great Hall. But, you know, just see what he's running quickly in the arena teams like you can find these one-man teams through gold which probably is what he's having to do to try and win but um he's got a speed champion he's got a nuka he's got a speed in all battles lead so i mean the makeup of it is not horrendous probably you know for this level the one thing i'd say he's missing here is a drop defense champion like i would rather do this and just have like speed up drop defense nuke and a way to perhaps stay alive so but it's not, it wasn't horrendous, but, you know, I think it could be improved just to do some simple tweaks. We're going to check some builds out first. So he's been around for a while. He's got Deliana, Ultimate Death Knight, uh, Wukong, obviously. So he's got some of the login champions, Artak. And these champions have been good. Like, Artak is brilliant. Ultimate Death Knight is good. Um, Deliana was okay. She's at least going to get you a spider farm going. Artak, absolutely brilliant. Wukong, Corporate Arena. Um, okay, let's have a look at some builds. So, um, lots of defense here on Ultimate Death Knight. Very slow at, uh, you know, what, 130-odd speed. Got a bit of accuracy, but not a lot. This guy, for an early game account, can really help with Clan Boss with the decrease attack. You know, and, and basically help anywhere else with the kind of shielding, the um, you know, provoking an enemy. Like, this guy is good for general content pushing. Just interested... I'm, Obviously, he's not active, so that's, that's something to call out. But blessings make such a difference for pushing boss content. Yeah, he's only got one blessing on anyone here, which is Ultimate Death Knight. And he's put Dark Resolve on. I mean, it's just an awful blessing for a generalist. You know, if, you're, if you've got only one person with a, a blessing, absolutely want to just grab Brimstone. Yeah, it's just it's a game changer for damage, especially in Clan Boss. It's going to cost 300 gems to do that, which I can't do when he's only got 300 gems. But that would be a massive damage boost for boss killing and generally. But I'd rather it was on someone who's more of a... I guess, I guess Ultimate Death Knight is a bit of a universal champion, but you know, maybe an Artak would be better. So one thing I'll just call out here before we look at any more builds is I would be in this shop every reset seeing if a level 1 Artak popped up. It would be quite big for this account to get brimstone on someone that you're using a lot. And he's got enough, actually, to buy it up. He's got some souls in here, again, that he could sell if he needed to. But yeah, I would be absolutely looking 
or a blessing for one of these legendaries that I'm going to use regularly. So a bit slow on the Ultima Death Knight. It's tanky as hell. I guess he's built him for... Uh, like This build is textbook. I've watched a video on Ultimate Death Knight. Most people build him as a slow bob in arena. Therefore, that's what I'm going to do. And that's fine, by the way, if you've got other stuff like 60 on your account. But the absolute thing you should do if you're trying to push content is get five versatile level 60s and get masteries on them all and get them all in like jack of all trade builds. Okay, so we should have masteries here, which we don't have yet, but he's working on it. If you get Warmaster on this dude, if you get Brimstone on this dude, get him faster to like minimum 170 speed. Yeah, and then start to build out the defensive stats. You'll find you just push through stuff much easier. So why is he so slow? We've got defense gloves. That's okay. Defense chest is okay. And defense boost boots. Yeah, I mean, these boots are actually very good, but not really for what we want right now. We just want to throw some speed boots on here, and then we've got a chance. Perception gear is particularly good early game. Uh, it's particularly good anyway, but perception gear particularly good early game because it's giving you the accuracy boost that you need. Otherwise, I mean, you really should be trying to push people into lifesteal gear once they've got their masteries because that will give you uh, a good amount of healing going on with War Master procs. Let's check out the Deliana build here. Taliation gear looks like this is like a spider farm type of build. Over crit capped. Very slow again. No accuracy to land a leech. So again, like these boots. These boots were not made for walking. I tell you that much. These boots in the bin. We just find ourselves some speed ones. Like, just find yourself speed boots. Do we have any in this set? No. So we'll try and find them in another set. I mean, ideally, something like perception set is where you want your your speed boots if you can, or just straight speed gear. Even these. This is where people go wrong. These are way better than what she's wearing right now. These common boots, speed boots, uh, and then maybe we try, if you want to go retaliation build, which is not bad on her, to be fair, because she does AOE A1s, then you want to just be seeing if we've got any retaliation gear in a helm. Ideally, just with some speed on it or something, but this is the best one. So I'm going to do this quick change, actually. I'm just going to go, bam, grab those speed boots, which are common. Probably it doesn't have enough silver to roll things up properly but uh we could do something here so maybe some sort of chest that's that's worth having bearing in mind like her damage is hp based so high health on a deliana is good whatever their kind of like kicker is for we go hp with a bit of accuracy it's not too bad it's not too bad so we can equip this it's not good but it's not bad either Throw this one up to 12 for now. It's quite cheap. Taking stuff up to 12 is cheap. When you go above 12 to 16, that's the expensive roll. So take this one up to 12 as well. We spent, what, 400,000 silver. Anything you're going to be keeping long term, even if it's a one star, you should be glyphing it with your, like the main stats that you need, like speed and health for Deliana. But speed is definitely something that you should be trying to glyph up. And you'll see that we've moved from completely useless build to now just semi bad build like 148 still very slow still ideally would want to be finding more speed elsewhere if we've got a banner with accuracy i'd prefer it but i don't have a banner of accuracy so health is good because obviously that's where our damage is coming from but i could just grab another for now at least by like eight speed yeah so i can grab another eight speed if i wanted it which is probably better than that kind of four thousand health even though she's in retaliation gear we still do want her to go. So we end up doing this. And then we've got ourselves something closer to a build that can be used. Especially because I imagine this build is used to try and solo stage 10 spider. That's a, the general kind of vibe. But it's not doing that because she could throw a, a Deliana if she's well built. I don't know if she's going to work with this level of gear, honestly. But you could throw her if she's well built in here with food champions. And then what you're doing is you're grinding up food whilst you're beating up the spider. I'm going to try it. I think she probably might need more accuracy, but she also just might be, um, the, the build still might be a bit too crap. It might need a bit more upgrades. But the idea is she can just nuke spiderlings and she can also put out, if she's got enough accuracy, 
um, the leech, which is in her kit as well. And it's not fast, it's going to take a little while, but basically she keeps nuking the spiderlings and the main spider. She heals from the leech that she puts out as well. And then when she takes a hit, because she's in retaliation gear, she is able to just do a retaliation pop and, um, or got a chance to do a retaliation pop anyway. Just don't know if we've got enough speed to out damage the heal that the spider does. There's a counterattack. Not quite got enough damage as well. You see the spiderlings are just surviving. Not so bad if you get the retaliation hits. I'm going to let it play through and just see how this goes. It might do it. It might just be quite slow. But this is a nice one to develop champions whilst also gaining gear from spider. And stage 10 spider particularly is a good one to gain from. Well, honestly, it's slow, but it worked. Um, but you can see here that the good part about this is Deliana's doing it all. We're leveling up food at the same time. There's a chance to get your gear drop. And when you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of energy, it doesn't really matter if it's slow as long as it's working, providing you're doing multiple things at the same time. So this is actually, even with this basically a terrible build, it's still working. Let's keep going with the builds then. So Magnars and Nuka, who we want to be seeing 100% crit rate. We want to be seeing high health because he's a HP-based damage dealer. So whatever your Nuka is, is, is where you kind of focus your, your stats. And then we want to be seeing, basically that's it. Then we want to pump crit damage after that. So this build's not terrible. 142 speed. Again, it's slow. What's he in here? Speed, he's in the speed boots. HP crit rate. That all works. Got Savage gear on and he's making that work. So this build is, is not horrendous, actually. HP there is good as well. So that's what his damage is coming from. We'd rather have crit damage here. So crit damage would, would top this. So again, that's spider farming. Defense here with attack. Double roll. This like, like that's basically the only terrible piece that we've got going on there. We'd much rather have HP as the main stat with an HP substat. But again, he doesn't have good pieces to do that with. So I can see what he's doing so far. Kale, this is going to be our clan boss damage right here. This fella. Everyone's going to have one of these. Uh, he's very, very useful if you're struggling with the early part of the game. He's already 60'd. He's got masteries, which is good. Actually, I didn't check masteries here. Working on those. Doesn't have those. But yeah, got masteries already. So how do we get damage for clan boss out of this Kale? Fast, enough accuracy to land your stuff. And then you want him to stay alive. So let's see what's going on with this. Crit rate. Crit rate's fine, honestly, at normal and stuff like that. But it's not required. Attack percent, attack percent. Let's just speed this fella up. Uh, let's do a rebuild on Kale because he's going to be important for us for a clan boss hit. So we're going to look for, ideally put him in life still gear so he can stay alive. Um, we're going to look for, let's go speed boots. Do we have any speed boots in life still yet? So these are okay. These boots down here. Damn, these boots are so good down here that Seeker's wearing. Seeker also does want to be quick. These boots are not bad as well. Maybe we just stick him in. I think I'm going to steal from Seeker here. I'm going to steal these ones. Because actually they're so damn good for, for what we want from our Kale. High accuracy, very fast, in perception gear. We like that. The chest then, you can either go attack percent and just hit with the chest, which we've got one on. Or if you just want to stay alive longer in clan boss, you could go HP percent or defense percent, honestly. But probably more likely we're going to go HP. I'm going to tick both because we probably don't have a lot. I'm going to try and find some speed as a substat on them. And then this one here, it's not terrible. We don't have a lot of options. We've got a speed one here or he's wearing one already, which was attack percent, I believe. So because we're not using him as our arena nuka, I'd rather do this and start bringing the lifesteal gear in. And then again, we've got a choice of crit rate on the gloves or HP percent again. Definitely don't want to tap percent. Let's change that. So let's take that out. Go crit rate. Don't want to steal from our nuka, but he doesn't need the lifesteal gloves on the nuka. So I could switch those out. Righteous gear is good, but we're not going to make a set of it. This is a good set of gloves, though. So ideally we have it. So I'm going to pinch these ones here from a Magna. We're going to change that up. And then we're going to be looking for other pieces. Now, at this point, I want to complete the sets. Don't know what he's already wearing here in terms of quality. So the main thing I'm going to look for is uh, speed and accuracy together, if we've got anything like that. Speed and accuracy together in lifesteal. Speed and accuracy together in lifesteal. 
And that basically completes our build. Two pieces of perception, four pieces of life still. We've now got some speed going. We've got enough accuracy for this very early game stuff. And we can just equip and then just push some stuff to level 12. Now, you don't necessarily want to punch everything to 16 because it's only four star gear. And I think we can get past four star gear quite quickly on the account. We can push that to 12 as well because we want to try and land one of these top two substats. A bit more accuracy, great. Same with this. Just because it's legendary doesn't mean it's good. But we do have some nice substats in the middle here. And then this one, yeah, it was actually right. okay. So this one as a six star perception piece with speed and crit rate and defense. Like this is a good piece worthy of six starring. But all in all, we're starting to get somewhere on this build. Ideally, have accuracy here, but we don't have it. So just flat defense here is not terrible. Keep them alive a bit longer in clan boss. Take it to 12, see if we can't roll speed again, which we did. Lovely. And then we can speed glyph up. We can HP glyph up. Just give us a bit more survivability. The better the piece, the higher the level of glyph you use. It's a good rule. But here, because we're not using him as a damage dealer, you basically want your highest star rating, HP or defense based item. Ideally with HP or defense as a substat. This is a nice one. HP ring with defense. Uh, so we're going to grab that one on. Gives us more survivability because his base defense is quite low. And then opposite to what we talked about earlier with the Nuka, I'd much rather have HP or defense here with the accuracy substat. Because we're not using him to do physical damage. He does a bit, but I'd rather he stayed alive longer. So this, I'd rather this was a defense flat at the top. So the biggest problem we've got is he's still a bit squishy at 29k health, but it's not bad. But he's now quick and he's got accuracy. So he's going to rotate through his abilities much faster. So I like that. That's a, that's a nice change up. That will be still useful as a jack of all trades build for like dragon farming. Um, and general farming in dungeons as well. So I'm liking that. We just need to go back and just fix this nuka. And really what I want here, I'd, I mean, I'd love to just find a good crit rate set of gloves with some speed on it. Don't care the set. I've got my Savage already going on. You don't need Savage, by the way, early on. People, you know, it's good to have, but it's not a must have. So I'm just looking for decent substats, really. He's an HP based champion. I do want to get his speed up a bit because it's quite low. So what I would do here is just roll this one to eight. See if I get any speed rolls. I didn't. HP rolls are not terrible for him. Do the same here. Do I get any speed rolls? No. I'd really prefer it to be a five-star piece. So at that point, you're like, well, looks like I'm going for this one. And then, you know, because you want him to get back to his 100% crit. Once you've got a bit more silver, you can roll those up further. We're not going to do that anymore today. Okay, so we've got one clan boss champion here. We've got another one here that we didn't change up. Who's got these, like all of the defensive stats going on. I mean, I just need him to be faster. So it's a challenge because these are good boots. Like, in fairness, Hale's at what? He's over 200 speed. I don't want to change him up, but those boots are not bad boots if you can find speed somewhere else. So, you know, if we could get ultimate death knight... If he had masteries and had the ability to heal, then these boots would be good. But we've got no healing ability whatsoever right now. So if you've got someone who doesn't have masteries, then regen gear is actually a good healer. Certainly if you want to use them in clan boss. So you could be looking for, oh my God, look at all these flat boots. Horrendous. Let's do a quick, quick filter on this. Bottom row, flat HP, flat attack, flat defense. Open it up. Basically... Well, we've got 116 pieces, which are basically worthless right now. So there's some silver coming in. The only ones you want to just double check are your speed ones. Do they have a speed substat roll? Which they don't. Boots we don't care anyway. All of this is just tats that you want to get rid of. It's, it's a chance for you to just burn silver that you don't want to burn. So again, I'll just check righteous to see if there's any speed rolls on these. There are not. All of it gone. Bam. We've got some silver back in the bank. So we want to find speedy boots. And as I say, regen is where it's at for staying alive for something like clan boss when, yeah, when you don't have masteries and you just want to be able to like live. So let's just see what we've got here. Regen, grab some speed substats. We can get some. You heal by percentage of your health every turn. So the quicker you can take a turn, the more often you're going to heal. 
So we're going to grab something with speed on it. I don't want to attack for scent. So that's all we've got. Should have done this in fitting room just in case we've got absolutely nothing else. Let's see what's going on here. Take speed substat off. Ideally, I'm going to grab stuff that's already been rolled if it's not terrible because I do want to save silver. We've got a choice of crit rate and HP or just flat defense. I think I'm going to take the HP with crits. That's my set done. And then we're going to try and grab a perception piece here to go along with perception gloves we've already got, which just at least then gives me a speed and accuracy boost for now because my accuracy is too low. I do want to land this decrease attack, ideally. So this is the one. And then suddenly we've now got sets that make some sense. Again, we just roll stuff up a bit. Silver's gone up since we started now. We've gone positive silver count, which is nice. I'm hoping really to see some accuracy rolls or yeah, that's mainly it really. I'd love to get a bit more accuracy into this build. Four HP is good though. Okay, in somewhere. Wanna be HP or defense here. That's okay. HP or defense here. Ideally with an accuracy substat roll. So let's see what else is around. No accuracy anywhere. Which sucks. So I guess we're gonna stick with what we got. And then attack on a banner for someone who doesn't scale through attack is literally the worst thing that we can do. So that's useless. Right now, that's useless. What I'd prefer to see, honestly, is accuracy. So we can actually land our ability. So again, we can throw something on for now, which is going to give us something. But it's not worth taking past 12. This will be swapped out for accuracy at some point. But, you know, the extra HP and the extra defense is going to help us at least stay alive. So what are we at here? 142 speed. If you've got enough silver and you're still super slow like we are, going full beans on the level up of speed is your first priority. Like, get that done. Um, we also want to glyph any speed that we can and HP and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to do that quick. I mean, this one is, <laughs> this is a first. Uh, no, it's not. It's probably happened once before. Visix literally got zero extra speed. Zero. She's going at the flat 92 to try and help out the team. What we've got going on, let's just check some of these other ones. 118, speed. Speed's the problem all around this account. It's so slow. Everything is slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Oh my lord. Every single build. This is the best build I've seen so far. Okay. We're going we're gonna to touch on the stag because he should be the next six star on this account. Got speed boots. HP chest I like. Crit rate gloves I like. We've got something going on here. This build has got some sort of sexy juice going on. Got another speed roll there. Lovely. We do want to be pumping his speed and his accuracy up. Because ideally what you get from your drop defense champion is they go before everyone else goes. Yeah, we get our drop defense out for, our, um, for the ability. And then the damage comes after it in sort of dungeon running and stuff. So this build's actually not bad. Gaining a bit more speed as we go as well, which is very lucky and very beautiful. And then obviously, when you six star, you've got a chance to put an accuracy banner on along with some speed on it. It's what we're looking for. But if we can't do that for now, at least just put more speed on. Let's see what we've got here. Level that up. So he's going to be coming into our clan boss team as well because we want this drop defense ability uh, and we like the decrease attack. But Stag will be part of almost every team that we've got. So I like that. Stag's in the mix. Kale's in the mix. Bissix has, has got an ally protect, which we don't have on this account. So ally protection will help you build much higher in clan boss over time. She doesn't bring a lot else for clan boss. She does bring that personal shield. Nothing else in her kit is, is clan boss related at all, honestly. Going to use him. Going to use him. Him. Could use Deliana. Actually, she's got some sort of build going on. And she's got leech, which helps us heal a bit more. And all of the damage is going to come from Kale. Maybe for the fifth end for now, we're going to use Artak because he's also just damn good everywhere. Attack percent boots on this Artak. Right, so look at this. Damage based on HP. Damage based on HP. So these boots literally do nothing apart from give us this little chunk of accuracy here. These boots are useless for Artak. Firstly, we should be wearing speed boots anyway, right? Hopefully we're getting that now. Speed, speed, speed is what we want can't stress it enough we need to be moving quicker speed in an accuracy set it's fine could even go relentless on him since we've got some gear maybe we're gonna try that um let's see what we've got in equipped 
because these boots are already rolled up. Instantly, like that build change there, instantly tons better. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on. Ideally, we have HP percent, put a bit of speed on it on the chest. I can't find it with some speed on it. I'm just going to take that away for now. See what we've got. Oh, I would love to have seen some relentless gear. Let's try this on for now. Crit rate or HP on the gloves. He's already wearing some immortal gear. That's actually not bad. We'll keep those for now. Righteous gear down here as well. Righteous gear is good as well. Let me just see what we had in chests. Do we have any righteous? No. I mean, it's something worth checking. Like, I don't know how much he's used this forge, but the forge is a, a place of wonder. Like, righteous gear and perception gear is where it's at. So we can just try and roll a couple of extra pieces, I think. Like, boost the odds with a speed substat, especially if you've got the big ones or the medium ones. For an account of this level, perception gear is a massive upgrade. I mean, accuracy chests with speed on them, both good, honestly, but I kind of want HP or something. HP gloves with accuracy on it, very good as well. Okay, so that's going to be... They're, they're all good pieces that we just grabbed there. But uh, anyway, it's not going to change this build I'm doing here so much. All right, so I'm just going to look in the relentless gear that we've got and see what's going on. HP triple roll, but double speed roll here with accuracy. We're going to grab that. HP gloves with accuracy. We're going to grab those. What have I got? That's three pieces. Just need to find a what, what have we got here. Resistance, resistance, accuracy. Good. Speed with defense here like that. Speed with HP. I prefer that. That's the only idea of our relentless build. Okay. Let's equip that for now. Speed, speed, speed. Go on. Oh, it's a triple. It's a triple. Beautiful. And then we... I mean, if I just had an... I don't. I don't have it. I don't have it. Let's, um, let's find that HP chest again. So ideally, we have a weapon now that is, is speedy. If we've got a weapon in speed, accuracy on it, do. And then we're just going to take that up to 12. See, we spent most of the silver we've had here, but this build change on our attack is massive. Double roll on the accuracy as well. Beautiful. HP ring with HP substats, what I'm looking for. Don't have it. So I mean, the one we've got on, HP, all of these substats are kind of bad. I wonder if this might roll better. Let's see. I want it to roll on the HP here. Didn't, so we don't put that on. Maybe we just stick for now, but this one, um, we can upgrade it two more rolls. It's nothing really in the substats that's going to help us out, but just the main stat is going to help us. Crit damage here, it's not really what we want either. For this sort of build, defense with crit damage might be better. Just give us a bit more defense for our clan boss runs. Set that up to 12 as well. It's probably the silver just about done and dusted. So I can't do any more build changing really, but this Artak change, He's at level 50 right now. He's fast. He can land stuff for the levels we're on. And he's got some HP. So that's going to help us a lot in dungeons. Okay, let's, let's just try a quick run on Clan Boss. We've got our keys here. He's hit easy for 11 million with the previous team. All I'm going to do, uh, I'll kill the key before we get right to the end. But we're just going to try run this new team. So since we've changed some builds, let's put Deliana in. Like this, like this, like this. And this. We're going to say stag, just do your A2 whenever you can. Okay, or do your A3 whenever you can. But don't use your A2 because we want as much poison as possible. Ultimate Death Knight, let's open with your shield. Artak, do what you like. Deliana, let's just do what you like. Okay, I've set up the team. So I want to see, you know, on easy, we were hitting easy and normal, we were saying like, what, four to seven. I want to see what we can do against hard here. But, you know, and imagine with his gearing and stuff, we should be able to do it. So I programmed for Kale to use his A3 whenever it's up. Don't use your A2. Stagnite, use your A2 when you can. Um, Deliana, just do what you like. Uh, Artak, do what you like. And Ultimate Death Knight, use your A3 as a priority, then your A2. And really what we're doing here is we're getting all of our damage away from poisoning and burns. Poison and burns are, are, are kind of like the priority. Deliana applying leech means that we've got a bit of extra healing for the people that don't have masteries. And you know, things like drop defense means that we can just do a bit more damage with our hits, especially if you've got masteries like Warmaster. Uh, in fact, if we had Warmaster and Brimstone on everybody, which is the next kind of like big push for this account, then we would do a ton more damage. Yeah, I would definitely suggest six star in a uh, stag as well. And honestly, I mean, six star in Artak is well worth it as well. None of these champions, apart from Kale here, are booked. So, you know, again, you get a better chance to land everything when you get those books in. 
But I think this squad is capable of, of kind of like pushing up decent amount of damage, especially when you've got everything level to 16, all of your gear that we've kind of started to play around with starts to get leveled up. You've got a bit more speed going. We'll really start to push up with this team. And it, I, I guess probably one of the call outs here is champions are one element to this game, but an, the equal requirement is just managing gear. You know, gearing is so important. And a lot of people, they go out of their way to try and find shards and pull shards and they buy shards and all that sort of stuff. And you get to a certain level with that. But you, you have to understand how gearing works and, you know, what's important. And especially pushing speed, making sure you've got accuracy and you've got some sort of survivability. It's just so important. Lost Artak here nice and early, unfortunately, but he is level 50, still a bit squishy. But you can see that we're basically doing the same sort of level of damage that he was doing on easy and normal, now up a level of clan boss. So, and we're still going. The 250s, two, two they're just going to go down faster because they don't have as much base stats. There he goes. And then it's down to our 60s, staying alive. And what we should see, because Kale's got masteries, Kale should be able to just keep healing himself to full. So once he's, he's healing, it's just about, you know, can we give him more stats to keep him alive in kind of like future builds? But we're going to end up doing here probably six to seven mil, I reckon on hard mainly about how much poison can we get out there how many more of these slams can we sustain after like term count 20 it starts to hit us pretty damn hard and ultimate death knight's in there now he's not really going to do much damage because he doesn't have any damage abilities it's literally just a few hits um and that's going to be that at about 6.6 .6 mil you can see though like this regen gear on him it really is keeping us alive for a long time and he is a tanky boy, so it's a shame that uh, we couldn't keep KO alive for longer because he is doing work. And I would suggest, like, it looks like this clan that, that he's in here do not hit hard. I would suggest moving to the hard. But 6.7 million, I'm going to end it there so we don't waste his key. If you close the game down rather than just ending the battle, exit the game, you'll get your key back and you're not going to kind of waste it. So there we go. I, I guess, yeah, if we had Brimstone, if we had, you know, Gear rolled up to 16 and stuff, then that's going to improve further. And I guess the other call out here is our arena team. So I've stolen some good stuff from Seeker. I mean, Seeker could easily go into this clan boss team as well, by the way. Like, he's, he's definitely capable of doing that. But he's going to be our speed booster for arena. So the other thing we just want to do here is just make him as quick as possible. And ideally, we do that all through speed gear. So we would be going speed on the boots. I'd be looking for speed as our kind of like priority stat high here first thing i'll do is check out speed gear just grab our fastest gear that we own there's a bunch of stuff that isn't even rolled so you could just roll that up what was that shield one speed roll so we might get a better one there no speed at all there if you don't have it then righteous gear is also very good we have a helm in righteous with a speed roll yeah so just Upgrade to eight if you've got something like this and see if we land any speed. We do do the same. Do I have enough silver to upgrade anything more? No, I don't even have, have enough silver to roll it. But, but if we were to try this on, you see we're at 187 without rolling the boots at all. This build could move to like 200 and 250 speed quite comfortably once you get stuff going. And then you've got a speed lead that can actually do something in the arena or a speed booster that can do something in the arena. So look, loads that can be done on this account. Um, we've got now an easy Spider 10 farm for food. You know, we could easily now punch on, what sort of level are we even farming here? Sure, we could punch on now for some other stuff as well. Let's just, let's just try and roll through. We've got still the Drakes as well, just chilling. I think we could do something like this. Mainly using your 60s, because that's where your stats are. I uh, could even bring Magnar in, actually. Let's try this. The main thing you want to do here is get your poison up through to the dragon. Once you've done that, we're laughing. Magnar's doing the work. Look at that damage from Magnar. Nice. And because we've now got champions that are faster, we cycle through our abilities much quicker. We get back to our main abilities faster as well. And 
We have loads more turns before they have a turn. That's the important thing. Like, we've got a chance to kill enemy mobs before they're coming at us. It's really crucial. Really crucial in this game. And you can see here, we're just going to clean out this wave nice and comfortably. As I say, as long as you get your poison to this dragon, and he's running quite quick, we've got a good chance of killing the dragon. So this is going to be easy street through to the boss, probably with everyone alive. Ultimate Death Knight does a good job of just like forcing hits onto himself as well, if you've got him. Poison's landed on the boss. And the thing that's going to let us down right now is accuracy on our builds. And that's because we need better spider gear. So I'd say, you know, in terms of this account, a focus would be just farm up spider 10 for a while. Farm masteries, get enough silver to level up uh, some more gear. And with those three things being done, this account can like turbocharge its position really fast. Like there's not much holding it back because it, it's just now a, a gear check. So look, there you go, guys. I think that's going to do it for this video. Woo! Loads that can be done. Um, but yeah, Draco, it's not all lost. You can definitely progress. Just need to think about where you're going to do that different progression. I've been Hell Hades coaching. I'll see you later.